All right, everyone, my name is Robbie Melton, and I have you for 45 minutes, and I'm going to rock and roll. I also have the closing session also, which I'm going to go into a lot more details. But for you all, you get what I call right smack into all of the apps and changing innovations. So again, let me just clarify a couple of things. My name is Robbie Melton. I'm the Associate Vice Chancellor for the Tennessee Board of Regents. My job is to oversee mobilization and emerging technology for the purpose of teaching, learning, and workforce. I do not work for Apple, Samsung, Microsoft, or any of the companies. My goal is to go where no educator has gone before. And that's behind the scenes with all of this high tech because our students are already there. So if I present something to you and you go, I don't think so, please know I have data, documentation, and even video to share. Oh, it's here right now. On behalf of the Tennessee Board of Regents, we are, and I like to hold this up, a BYOD system. Now, Tennessee is the fifth largest system of higher education in the nation. So, oh, it's already being used. Um, that means anything that the students bring to campus, we're going to be proactive. We're not going to say you cannot bring your mobile devices to the campus. Why? Because we would have to do a strip search of our students, okay? And I share this with faculty, and by the way, I'm a full professor tenured, so I know what goes on in the classroom. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to present to you some technology, and you will sit back and go, oh my gosh. I have every cell phone, and the latest, the greatest, and the craziest. But as I said, when I have faculty members to say, can't bring those mobile devices to the classroom. I'm already hooked up. You would have to search me. I have right now on my arm the new mobile phone. This is a watch, and it looks like a watch. It runs like a watch, but it is also a cell phone. That didn't even thrill anybody. <laughs> You can call me, I can call you. It hooks to the internet. It also has the ability for chatting, texting, and what you need to know, I can take a photo and video of you all right now and stream that baby right there. So on behalf, well, that's because of time, because once I get, when, when I get to rolling, you'll forget all about this and go to something else, trust me. <laughs> but on behalf of educators, we have to know what this technology can do. The good, the bad, and the, uh, I, wow. So again, if I'm taking an exam, and I hold out my watch, and you think, wow, she just has a watch, I could be recording everything and everybody. So. Again, here it is. You see it. This is not Best Buy, but this is reality. And by the way, we've been beta testing this for two years. It works well, and it works with your Bluetooth. I also have earrings that hook up to the internet. I have rings. So again, you're here to really look at some of the innovations in mobilization. So I would like to start out, due to time, to just go and give you a glance of what it is to be mobilized today. Now, I want you to look at this wall because on behalf of the IT department, that's what I'm to demonstrate up here. And so during lunch, if I can reinstall this, you're going to see me turn any surface into an interactive smart board. 
We also have received a tablet table that we are beta testing for higher education. And yes, I'm from Tennessee. We do not have a lot of money. We have passion. On behalf of our medical staff, please know what you're seeing is a reality. And on behalf of the Tennessee Board of Regents, we're working with workforce development and all careers. What you are seeing again is not the future, it is right now. I also have apps that I'm going to demonstrate where again, I can just take my mobile device hold it up against any plant. It will let me know the name of the plant, what's going on with that plant. So we're beta testing it on behalf of our ag department. At the closing session, I will be demonstrating um, augmented reality technology and I will be in a different attire so that you can take your mobile device and wave over me and you'll see things happen. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to mobilization. If you would please now pull out your mobile device, your cell phones, so that I can just take a quick look and then I can share with you what's happening. If it's old, if you should take it to the antique show, uh, whatever you need. And if you would just hold them up high, please. Ooh, I see that big note. And I'm basically looking for antennas. Oh, I'm not going to embarrass you. I'm just going to try to let you know there's still a role for cell phones with antennas, not the bags that you used to have in your car. Those are outdated. Very good. All right. What you see in my hand and on my arm is a device that we have beta tested, and I'm pleased to share with you if you don't learn anything else for this session. It saves lives. I want you to know on behalf of all of those with high blood pressure, and everyone here knows of someone with high blood pressure, they will share with you the number one reason they don't check their blood pressure, because they don't know how to work the device, or they don't have it. And you know you should check it all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, in your hands. You have the power of saving lives because now we have the technology where you take your phone, your tablet, plug in high blood pressure cuffs, and it will pump it up for you. You don't even have to worry about pumping. It will take your heart rate, your blood pressure, and it will send it to your doctor. You all should be sitting here going, oh my gosh. Now, 
I'm probably the oldest person here. All right, I'm hitting 62. And when I look at all of this technology and I just watch the reaction of educators like, wow, I would be going, oh my gosh, you mean to share with me that I have in my hand the power to change a life, to teach, but as you know, we don't use these devices as teaching and learning tools. We play Angry Birds, <laughs> Candy Crunch, but we don't have a clue what this can do, and that's why I'm here. So you have me for a short time. Usually I have five suitcases of items. I'm not here to give you the wow factor, but I'm here to share with you. Ladies and gentlemen, with your devices, we now have lenses, telescopes, microscopes, photography, name it, that fits right on top of your cell phone whereby you don't have a cell phone anymore. You have a tool just as powerful as those microscopes and telescopes in your labs. How do we know? On behalf of the 46 campuses of the Tennessee Board of Regents, we have a strategic plan that if we can find a willing faculty member to say, let me do a comparison. Let me take what you have in your hand and put it on a cell phone to see if we can change that to teaching and learning tools, life is good. Here is one tool that we have beta tested for now three years. You will know this in your classroom as an ELMO, document camera. Well, you see how light and easy? I want you all to know this takes video um, steel shots, and we use it in our biology classes and chemistry. And I have all of the documentation. The Dean of Natural Sciences, Jeff Horner, will come and share with you data of how they were able to use it, how it increased scores, how it saved money. This document camera runs $60. And again, we have to look at items. Are they tools or toys or junk? This has been one item that after we tested it out, we sent to every campus to test. We have a strategic plan for mobilization. So again, I'm going to run through a lot of this quickly, but I'm here, again, not to wow you, but to share with you what's actually happening. I also have in terms of all disciplines. We look at that mobile device as a tool that can change over a thousand ways. So if you are in the music department, we have professional drumstick. We have professional stylus in terms of art. And when we can't find your tool of choice, we go to the companies to say, we need a violin bow where you can place that iPad on your shoulder, and then you can have the simulation of using a real bow with that iPad. So again, I'm going to share with you some cutting edge technology and some mobile apps. Also, while I'm running back and forth to this table, here's an object, and I should play prices right. What do you think this is and the price? Well, to save you all time, this coming in as your virtual laser technology. This is a keyboard. And as you see, I can use any surface. I can even use my arm if I wanted to. Um, this has been out for a while. Uh, I'm going to try and point it up so you can see it on the ceiling. And not to blind anyone, I'll just place it right here. Now, it's cool. It's $300. I wouldn't recommend. It's OK. Again, I'm from Tennessee. And if we are not careful, we can lose a lot of money. 
I want you all to know every 30 days there's a new invention coming out in mobility. I have your latest and greatest. I have all of your window phones, your Blackberry, your Samsungs, your iPads, your Nano, all of these things, and I have your Samsung's tablets, your window phone, your iPads. Let me share with you what happened two years ago. Someone knocked on our door by the name of Entourage, a company that had a tablet that they swore was the tablet of all tablets. Well, we invested in that tablet. We have 47 campuses. I was going to be kind of conservative and say, let's purchase one per campus. We'll round off, just say 50 at $1,000. The company went out of business in 45 days. Luckily, we canceled the check before they cashed the check. I want you to know right now there are 242 Androids. These tablets are coming out every hour. If we took the approach, we're going to buy every one, and all of the campus would have a free-for-all, we would be bankrupt. So our plan is I get to buy the top of the line, and we have a strategic plan where we send tablets to committees. We have, of course, the IT committee, and we have a destruction committee. That means this group just takes it and just throws it on the floor and stomps on it, rolls over it. We don't care because these devices are coming in and they're under our insurance liability replacement plan. You drop an iPad, too bad, too sad. When you're purchasing over 5,000 of these devices, you want to hope that they will last at least six months. So again, we have faculty teams, student teams, et cetera. But let me just share with you some of the latest coming in in terms of new, new devices. Let me go back to this. You're going to see this. Sorry about that. And this is brand new. So take a look at your new computer coming in. It's a roll top. Can you imagine in your lifetime of a device of this sort? This is now, we will be beta testing this this fall. This fall, we will be beta testing. And here we go, your Google Glasses. We took a survey because these glasses are costing $1,500 right now. I know that you all are saying, I can't afford that. Um. I want you to know your students said they wouldn't hesitate to purchase. <laughs> you see? Okay. <laughs> and let me just move it on. 
And I'll go through that because I'm going to go through that when, at the end. But let me share something with you in terms of workforce development. Again. Now, my view at Remote Star, the new view of Don Clay makes sure you're ready for anything. Just one more way, the new Don Clay is smart, made, beautiful. Now, again, we're watching this, and it's like, oh, yeah, wow. Okay, let me share one more time. He was in an airplane. He turned on his car. <laughs> to me, that's amazing. What you're finding now with your mobile devices, you have third-party accessories coming in. On behalf of workforce development, we receive this little device, and I always go, and what will it do? Well, in the uh, Department of Skin Care, you hook up this device, you rub it on your skin, and it will let you know if you need water, it will let you know what type of moisturizer, on and on and on. So when we see tools like this, we don't take the attitude of like, ah, oh, that's just junk. We immediately deploy and test out because we have to look at safety, security, and if it's work, wow, this will change the way we teach various subject level. So let me just move on very quickly because I have to be mindful of time. I'm going to share with you some devices that I have up here. And here is one. You see the mobile projector right here. That's from Dell. But this is a projector from Brookstone that we have been testing out that works very well. Again, I have to come over and look at you all. This is a projector, <laughs> OK? To me, this is amazing. And to just switch it on, I'm going to point it so you can just see right here. This is a projector. In my lifetime, I never thought I would be able to have a projector in my pocket. So let me just move you quickly to some other areas. I also have anyone with an iPhone 4S. OK. If someone would, because I'm going to demonstrate that not only are we high tech, we're high touch, and we look at all possibilities and accessory. If you could take it out of the case and bring up an appropriate song and turn it up as loud as it could go, then when I call you up, I'm going to share with you how we work with companies. And if something seems just a little strange, I want you to know what strange might save you a whole lot of money. We call this the rubber ducky. It's rubber. You don't have to plug it in. You can chew on it. But it's a speaker. And it's one of the best speakers for the iPhone 4 and 4S. On behalf of the board, I call, who has that song going? Ready? Come on down. All right, here's what we do. We find technology or non-technical items, and we try it out. Uh-oh, take your time. We're going to have her to turn it all the way up. Don't you just love this? Yes, you do. Because that's what we look for in our faculty members. You don't need to be a computer scientist. No, we, you just need to have that attitude of, what will it do? Mm -hmm. What will it do? And once you try, you can come back and let us know what it will do. So are you ready? Yeah, it's like a call coming in. Oh, a call coming in. All right, we'll let you. <laughs> Life is good. Life is good. OK. All right, if you would hold that up so they can hear it. All right, life is good back there. All right, if you would now just put it in the rubber ducky. 
Okay, that didn't thrill anybody? One more time, if you would take it out and hold it. Oh, you all got to warm up the technology. My God, we had a miracle here, okay? Thank you. Yes, we have that one. But, th but this one was only, are you ready for this? And we're going to have you to put it back in. It was only 10 cents. OK. Now it's $9. OK. Well, again, and I'm going to thank you. And because you were so willing, here you go. Life is good. OK. Um, because I'm, again, I'm boldly going where no educator has gone before, I get these things on the cutting edge. So, and the cutting edge, they, they sent me a 1,000. I was passing them out like candy. Anybody want, OK? But the day that you think I'm a millionaire because I've created something is the day they change it because the iPhone 5 can't use that. So again, this is major business, everyone. But let me keep on rocking and rolling, because you have to see what I have. What I wanted to share with you, but you will have to wait to the end. You see this wall? I have something right here called Yubi. What is Yubi? Yubi is going to replace all smart boards. All right, everybody look at me. This is big. This is like hot off the press. I mean, I was up all night working with the developers in California. And then lo and behold, I unplugged it, tried to plug that baby back in. And <clears throat> but see, that's the life of technology. Because I'm going to break this baby down while you all at lunch. What I have that did work, I'm able to go to any wall. Everybody work with me. Any wall, any surface. And using my laptop and that little device that can drop down in my purse, I'm able to transform that wall into a full interactive smart board. All right, you didn't get it. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm able to take out of my purse, hook up to my laptop, where this, you will see the projection of my laptop. And I can tap, tap, windows will open. I can swipe. You can see the swipe. You all are sitting right now on the verge of someone in the smart board business crying because this is a game changer, OK? What is the impact for us? We're getting ready to order over 1,000 smart boards. Those boards are costing us $6,000 a piece. If this equipment or this software works, and it's only costing, at this point, 800 You know it's going to drop. Can you? We'll be rich. We could buy North Carolina, OK? <laughs> so you got to understand what's happening in this tech world, because every day, it's a change. So again, in terms of health care, in terms of what we use for our mobile solutions, we look at cases. We look at styluses, name it. But let me start rocking and rolling with my iPad. By the way, we have collected over 50,000 mobile apps in all areas, from preschool to PhD. Why? Because you don't have time, and we don't have time to keep searching for these mobile apps. All of you have different devices. I have another product that I would love to demonstrate, but can't due to time. It's called Nearpod. What is Nearpod? Everybody, work with me here. Well, let me share with you. Nearpod. You all held up your mobile devices, did you not? Work with me, yes. Don't you know using Nearpod and there's another company called Go Class. I can take over all of your devices. OK, one more time. All right, you didn't catch that. All right. Your students walk in, they have iPads, old pads, Blueberry, Blackberry, Windows, no Windows. As the teacher, 
I'm able to come in with my device and if I have a PowerPoint or a lesson or videos or forget all those clickers, please don't purchase clickers, please. I'm able to show what's on my screen and I just push and all of you will have the same thing. You have to take a deep breath on that one. <laughs> Not only that, watch me wiggle. If you dare, say, I don't want to be bothered. I'm going to surf the net. It instantly lets the instructor know who's not on task. OK? You, and listen, and I didn't come here empty-handed. On behalf, because again, we pilot a lot of these. We have 25 pilots going with Nearpod. And we have been in with Nearpod now going on eight months. I was able to bring a full code because, look at my face, and you'll remember this. When I have companies coming to Tennessee saying, we have a new product in mobilization and emerging technology, we need for you to test it out, I always think of my friends. Look at me. And I will always say, it might work in Tennessee, but I have friends in North Carolina, and they have different wind patterns. You know, they have different water <laughs> systems. And I'm serious. You th look, look at me. And I think um, they, need to, they need to test out. So knowing that I was coming here, I have the full, golden, supreme, top of the line code that you are able to test out. And life is good, no strings attached. And again, that's how we have to work this technology. Educators, for the first time, we're not going to sit back and let them develop the internet, and we're the last to jump on. We're not going to do that. Oh, no. We're going to shape this. So let me share with you what I have, OK? And I get really passionate. Wait till this afternoon. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. All right, I have every iPad. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 14,000. This is business. So when we get iPads on behalf, and again, let me go on record. We are not recommending that you do this. But because our students are coming to us with a jailbroken iPad and rooted Android, you know what I'm talking about. There's another world out there. And you all need to know there are different app markets. The USA is not the only app market. There's eight of them. And good gosh, you're talking about some apps coming in. Let me share with you some apps. By the way, I'm not using Apple TV. I'm using Air Server. And IT, don't scream at me. We test out all possibilities. Air Server is a application you put on your laptop, desktop, but you are able to use your iPad wirelessly. That didn't thrill you all? OK, how much? All right, it only costs $4. OK, did that not thrill someone versus buying Apple TV, $99, and an HDMI projector, yes? OK, you all should be jumping up like, oh my gosh. All right, here it is. Let me give you some apps. The first app that I'm proud of and I discovered, I, yes, I did. They <laughs> sent me this app two and a half years ago. And my area is education, special ed. Look at this app, everyone. Now, when I teach sign language, I stand in front of you like a tin woman. And I go, I want book. Some days over. I got Android. We call him John. And John, you type in whatever you want. John signs. You, that, you, that did. I got two people in here. One, two, OK? That didn't thrill you on behalf of those students who are hearing impaired and sitting in classes and mainstream. This, again, was a miracle. Now, let me help you out. And the reason why some of you have to have updated equipment. Well, with the iPad 1 and 2, this was great. 
Robbie called and said, you know what would be the best of all worlds? What if I could talk? I don't want to type. I'm tired. I'm old. What about if I could talk? And he would sign. That's what happened. If you have an iPad 3, 4, or the mini, or the iPhone 5, you don't have to type anymore. All you have to do is speak, and John will sign. Now, everybody, it will not take the place of professional signers. Educators, come on, work with me now. Before we poo-poo things, let's give it a try. To me, that's a miracle. Anybody with some money? A dollar bill? OK, you're just coming back from vacation. Anybody with $5? Ten, OK, $10. OK, I'll go back down to $1. Anybody with $1? Please, just thank, thank you. You know, we don't have all day today. I have an app. Ladies and gentlemen, my certification, again, is special education. For those who are blind and they have to go out into the world and use money, we teach them how to fold money. Over there, to the right. You don't have to do that anymore. You got an iPad, an iPhone that reads money. You all should be screaming. <laughs> Anybody with a five? OK, all right, let's work with it. Right. $20, $20, $20, $5, $5. And counterfeit, you know, uh, I had to call in on that one. OK, to see if it would read counterfeit money. OK, I didn't want to go to prison or whatever. So again, I have some apps. Because time is a ticking, I have to show you some apps. One of the apps on behalf of the Tennessee Board of Regents, and I always say, we're the sixth largest in the nation. Any of our faculty members that see any of these apps, and they would like to use it for teaching and learning, they do not have to pay for it. Look at this app up here. Now, again. I don't know about you, but you should know about the elements. And look at this app. It's alive. You all should be going, oh my god. <laughs> Again, we called in on this company and said, you know, that's, that's really nice. That's nice. But can we do experiments? And they built it all in. And then watch this. I'm like, wouldn't it be nice? if they could virtually, like 3D of all of this, and you can. If you have 3D glasses and you look at this app, it will come out of your iPad. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, we can make rock and roll now. The next app, gosh, I have so many. All right, here we go, app land. By the way, I'm an appologist. I named it myself. <laughs> oh, I know these apps. All right, here's the app right now. Let's get to this. Now, you have people using Microsoft Office. We all know, love PowerPoint, Word, the whole nine yards. And everyone kept crying. We don't like Keynote, but Keynote's fine. But just in case you want the full Microsoft Office app, it's free, it's called Cloud On. And you will see where you have Excel, Word, PowerPoint. And you click on it, and I'm just going to name it E-L-O-N, new. And then you'll see it come up. You can create. You save it in your Dropbox, the whole nine yards. And it's free right now. But what did I teach you all? Don't run out and do it right now. Just wait, you know. OK. And again, look at there. That's your full Microsoft. That didn't thrill anybody. <laughs> OK. All right, I'm going to get you going. Here's another app that you all need. K-O-B-O. -O. OK, it's free. And let me share it with you. We used to have a bookmobile, a bookmobile. We had to walk up, and I'm from Michigan, in the cold, in the snow, to get a book. On your device, and this goes cross-platform, even your Nook, 
even your Kindle Fire, K-O-B-O, will give you, ladies and gentlemen, 1.5 free million, million books. You're not going to read a 1.5 free million book, but it's nice to have it on there to share with people. You know, I got 1.5. You're walking around with a mobile bookstore. You all should be going, oh my gosh. Magazines. I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that. Yes, you save it to um, Dropbox, OK? Here's another free one, all your magazine, Flipboard, even Oprah. And you just, and you go ahead and put in what's new or whatever. Again, I'm giving you resources that you should be going, oh my, but, uh -uh, let me get to the big boys. All right, on behalf of art, no, mm -mm, skip art. You need this right now, it's free. <laughs> Haven't you, on your mobile device, always wanted to have more than one browser open? Well, guess what? I have an app. It's called Quad, Q-U-A-D, browser. Not only will it give you two browsers open, it gives you three and four. Yes, you can have four open Googles if you want to, and it's free right now. But forget that. Wouldn't you like for your students to have a free app that will keep them organized, get them to class, and watch this app? And to help them study, you can upload into this app. You can add photos, but better than that, ladies and gentlemen, this app is free. You can even take, it has a built-in recorder. You, they can record all of their lectures and whatever. That didn't thrill you all? There you go. You're working with me over here. Don't listen over there. It's called in class. I-N-C-L-A-S-S. -S, in class. Free. We have tested this app. We make sure for orientation all of our students put this down. It will even give you notification. And as you see, it's recording me. Um, you can email notes, whatever, whatever. Life is good. And let me get you to some other ones. On behalf of art now, and watch my time, here is an app that our faculty members do not have to pay for called Art Authority. Let me share with you how this changed art history. All of us had to take art history. Some of us went to sleep. Some of us had to go to the museum, and we stood up sleeping. <laughs> Let me share what this app was able to do for art. I'm going to bring up a portrait. And this is how we are used to looking at art in the book. But with technology, you can go straight in all the way to the eyeball and look at art from different perspectives. To me, I didn't even see the house on the hill. You didn't see that house on the hill. <laughs> but all of a sudden, you can now take art to a different level. And by the way, we have every portrait that has been printed within this app. You all should be shaking like this. For those of you, and I do not share this app with students. This is for us. If you don't have this app, it's free, My Script Calculator. Look at me, everybody. You, you like this one. Uh-huh. You just put in your formulas, and it instantly gives you an answer. <laughs> OK, all right. Let's go a little higher. So let's go 99 divided into 99999.1. Put that equal sign. Look at there. You all should be impressed. Again, I shared this in terms of what the technology can do. But we as faculty members have to shape this. That means anybody can pick up this app and walk in. It's the process, and that's why we have to be at the table. For Teacher Ed, I have an app for you. It is free. You need to download this one as soon as possible. 
Look at this app. This app costs $50,000, and it's free. And what would you do? I say, let's give him some candy. OK? Let's try to ignore him. So again, we have, oh, he's going to tear this up. Trust me. We have apps to give you simulations because we are now looking at, oh, here we go. Uh, he's going to fall out on us now, OK? So we will leave him right there. So on behalf of education, we want apps that we can use as teaching and learning tools. Here is an app that we're working with the developers right now on problem base. You're able to click in. This is a medical app, but we have the template. And you're able to put in your own problem, regardless of discipline. So this is the medical one. So here's the problem. A woman, blah, 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 double vision, whatever. What would you do? And you see, do you perform this? Do you perform that? Do you perform this? You see, I'm not a medical doctor. And now, select the correct management. How about eeny, meeny, miny, mo? And it's built in with assessments. That's what, <laughs> did he die? That's why I'm not a medical doctor. <laughs> so again, it's built in with assessments. That's what we need from these apps. We need more than something from Candy Crunch. However, we did call and say, we want more than a yes, no. Give us discussion. Give us the explanation. They did, and the students are able to put in theirs. You all should be going, wow. By the way, this is a free app. That you Prognosis. And you can try again on and on. Due to time, let me just go and share with you some technology. See, some of the technology is built for entertainment and not for education. So we're saying, hmm, if we can look at this technology and go, hmm, if we can do this, why can't we change this over to education? Now, you saw me touch one, twice, three times, and now I'm rendering. Now, again, some of you are old enough to remember black and white TV. You know you couldn't have done this within four seconds. And again, I look at this technology to say, wow, what can we do? Here is an app that came in on behalf of the music department, which is unbelievable. It goes over every instrument, music history, the whole nine yards, and we're talking about an app. Let me tell you about Texas Instrument. Anyone remember the TI-180, everybody cried, $200, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Texas, and we know we called them. We called them up and said, make it an app. They said, never, never. I want you to know they have an app that will replace the TI from Texas Instrument. I don't know what timing is. You would think with all this technology, I would know. But I don't. But I do, would like to share with you any times, ladies and gentlemen, and this is why I just don't understand how educators can't get it. We're tapping into the Hubble telescope. OK, one more time. We're on a telescope. We're looking at the Earth live. And I'm going, are you, are you sure it's live? Yes, because we have to test everything out. And I want to try and bring up the sun. If I go the other way. Now, here's the sun. I want you to know, as I go back over, these things are so powerful that if I take my device 
and hold it, whether it's north, south, east, or west, it will bring up all of the stars, all of the kind. And you all just sit there like, <laughs> I mean, we're looking at the sun. I can bring up sun rays. I just sit there and go, and wow. So as I, uh, I'm going to share with you some new apps that uh, hit in. The pyramid. If you all don't get this, I'm going home. <laughs> I just don't understand. Because here, I've been teaching over 40 years. Look at this app. OK, ladies and gentlemen, we're going into a tomb, OK, in Egypt. On your iPad. And yes, you're going to see this app when I demonstrate at the end, because there's more to this app. That doesn't thrill you all. I'm sitting there going, uh-uh, this is unbelievable. And I'm just sharing with you the type of technology as we go down. And now we're going to go inside. That doesn't thrill you all sitting here? And you, you're in a chair in an auditorium. And we're going into a tomb. So you might say, well, this is just animation. You know, huh? No, it's not. They have live cameras built into this tomb so you can see live what's going on. OK, one more time. You, you <laughs> Here, who said that? Who, who, who said that? What's the name of it? I'll send you the code for it. Somebody got to get excited about this, OK? You don't even have to purchase it on behalf of Robbie. I'll send you the code so you can look at this app. They got live cameras down there. And then let me share with you what's going to happen in the future. They're going to have electronic shovels. Look, dig, dig, dig. You'll be able to take your phone that you've been playing Angry Birds with, <laughs> and you'll be able to click and dig live. OK, one more time. You're in a chair, you're here, and you're going to dig in a tomb live. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure it's the time is up. Oh, I was going to rock and roll. But you have me this afternoon, and it will not be a repeat. You're going to see what all of this uh, stuff can do. But here's the website. And remember, I work for the Tennessee Board of Regents and nobody else. This is where you can go and get your apps. And you'll see that the site is under construction. Why? And then you can leave on this note. You all have a world to change. You don't need time to search for mobile apps. If all of our college students, by the way, 92% of them have mobile devices, you need to be able to go. And when you're teaching or you need your students to have tutorials or whatever, you don't need to be flipping through Google's and then Apple and Samsung. No, you need a one-stop shop. And that's what I design where you just click and you decide how you want to use apps. Do you want to teach, learn, whatever? And you decide on which device you're going to use, and you see them all, even some you haven't heard of. So you just hit Apple for the sake of time, and then you have 125 academic disciplines. Thank you. You're welcome. Because you know what? You, I've been apping out, OK? <laughs> And I app every morning. So again, that um, website is www.tbrmobile. And they'll have that for you, .org. And my, as you go, here's my claim to fame. Yes, it's work. Yes, you can pull up all little apps. You don't want that. Look at me. What you want is to be able to go to that site, put in your variables. I have an iPad. I'm teaching biology on the college level. And every time I find new apps for those variables, you get an email of it. <laughs> That's my goal, and it's going to happen. All right, you can go. Life is good. Time for lunch. OK?